Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the video analytics of abandoned and missing object on the Uniview system, on the web browser, and on the NVR interface. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that ideally, this type of analytic is best suited for indoor environments. However, if you're going to put it outside, just keep in mind there's going to be different factors such as sunlight and also shadows that could possibly affect it, so make sure you adjust it accordingly. Another thing too, of course, mention that uh, you want to make sure that the camera and the NVR support the latest firmware and also the features that you want to use. And to begin, I'm going to show you how to set up the abandoned object analytics on the Uniview system through the web browser. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the Internet Explorer browser opened up and make sure all your ActiveX settings are enabled. Okay. Then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and in the URL bar, type in the IP address of the recorder itself. So in this example, I put in 192.168.1.240, and then you can see here there's a login page now. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and log in with the credentials. So admin for the username, all lowercase, and then the password in this example is ENS12345, all lowercase. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is uh, one of the first things I'm going to do. Uh, do is just verify that the live view is good. So I'm going to make that into mainstream so I can see a quality picture of it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is going to start the setup process. So you click setup, go into client, and then under client, again, you want to check the intelligent mark to make sure it's on. Okay. And then click save. Again, the reason you want to do that is because if you don't, you're not going to be able to see the live detection area on the live view. Okay. Then what you're going to do is go into the uh, camera menu. Okay, and then you're going to go to schedule and then we're going to set up event recording for both the record schedule and the snapshot schedule. So under the recording schedule, go ahead and select D3 or whatever camera you choose and then you're going to make sure that the recording schedule is on and then you're going to go ahead and click edit and then the type, you're going to switch it from normal to event and select all the days that you want. Click OK and now you see that the color schedule is different. I'm going to go ahead and click save here. And then now I'm going to go to the snapshot schedule and do the same thing. So again, select the correct camera, make sure the snapshot schedule is on. Okay. And then I'm going to go to edit, do the same exact thing, switch it from normal to event, copy to all the days that I want, click OK, and then go ahead and click save. All right. Then next I'm going to set up the analytics itself. So again, if you have multiple cameras in the system, make sure it's selected the right camera. And we're going to go ahead and select the object left behind or abandoned object. So check the box. Then you're going to go ahead and click on the little gear icon. So we're going to go from left to right in the setup. So under the area, we're going to go ahead and select a detection area. Okay. So I'm going to draw an area, a rectangular region, kind of near the entrance. And again, keep in mind that if you mess up, it's okay. You can always delete it and then redraw again. Okay. And, but just keep in also in mind that, you know, when you set the camera outside, then there's other factors, like I said earlier, with the lighting environments that could affect it so just be aware of that. Once you're done you're going to click finish drawing. Okay now what you're going to do here is adjust the sensitivity. So the higher the sensitivity the more likely it's going to pick up an object. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that to the maximum. The time threshold again uh, you can adjust that too but again if it's a dangerous environment for example if someone's leaving like in a package an example if it was an explosive you wouldn't want that object to be left there for a certain amount of time before it goes off. So in this example I'm going to leave it to the minimum but again, you can always uh, adjust it accordingly. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the arming schedule. Again, verify that the settings to all the days that I want. Click OK. Trigger actions. Uh, just make sure that the recording is enabled on that channel, which it is by default. But again, you can always uh, double check. And then again, there's other things that you can trigger like a buzzer, email notification, alarm outputs if you have those options. Okay. Then you're going to go ahead and click save. Now what I'm going to do is go to the live view and then verify that the box I drawn is still there. And of course you want to make sure it's in the mainstream mode otherwise you won't see the analytics. Okay. So now as you can see here that blue box near the detection region that I drawn is visible. So what I'm going to do now is go downstairs and then put an object there to show you how it's being detected. So as you watch the video here you're going to see me carrying a red dolly with a brown box and a blue backpack as I enter the detection region. So as the object is in the detection region, you're going to see a couple of the green boxes slowly picking it up.
Once the object is left there, momentarily you're going to see that green box turn slowly to red, which means it detected it. So as you can see, the red box disappeared. And now I'm going to show you how to do the playback search for the abandoned object. So after you're done, you're going to go to the playback. And then under the playback menu here, you're going to go from normal to event. Okay. And then here in the subcategory, you're going to select VCA. In the next subcategory, you're going to select the object left behind. You're going to highlight the camera, which is D3 in this example, and then make sure the start time and the end time is the correct one and the date, of course. Hit search, and then you're going to select the latest time clip by highlighting it, and you're going to click play. And as you can see here in the playback footage, the object that I'm putting in there is left behind, and it's picking up the footage. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the missing object analytics detection in the Uniview system on the Internet Explorer web browser. So once you have the web browser opened, go ahead and type in the IP address of the recorder, okay? And then once you do that, you're going to have the login page. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the username, admin by default, lowercase, okay? And then I'm going to put in ENS12345 that I set up and click login. Okay, so then again, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I can see the live camera view to test it out. Okay. So now I'm gonna go start the setup process. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the client menu, make sure that the intelligent mark is on, otherwise you're not gonna be able to uh, see the live uh, detection region. So then click save. Then I'm gonna go to the camera menu, select schedule, and then of course uh, we're gonna do the event scheduling for both recording and snapshot. So make sure that you have the right camera selected, make sure the recording schedule's on, and you're gonna go ahead and select edit. On the type, you're going to switch it from e normal to event, and then you're going to copy to all the days that you want. So now you see that the color has changed to pink for event scheduling. Click save, and then you're going to do the same thing for the snapshot schedule. Switch it to the third camera, D3. Make sure snapshot schedule is on, and again, edit. Of course, it's already event scheduling, but just to show you again, make sure it's under event. Select all the days you want. Click OK. Click save. Okay, so now we're going to go to the analytics setup part itself. Of course, if you have more than one camera, make sure it's selected the correct one. And this time we're going to select object removed. So you're going to check the box, click the little gear icon, and then we're going to start drawing an area. So since the object is already there, all I have to do is draw a detection region around the object itself. Okay? So I'm going to draw a rectangle the best that I can. Okay? And then I'm going to click finish drawing. And then I'm going to go ahead and increase the sensitivity to the maximum because the higher the sensitivity, then the easier it's going to pick up an object, okay? The time threshold, this one uh, you can actually increase or decrease however you want because uh, if you increase the time, that means that it has to be a certain number of seconds before it detects it as missing. But again, if it's something of you know, important value, then again, you don't want that to be a long time until you get notified, so I'm going to leave it at the minimum. Next, I'm going to go to the arming schedule, verify all the days that I want. Trigger actions, always verify that the recording is checked for that camera that you want, which it is by default, but it's always good to double check. Then you can go ahead and uh, trigger option, uh, such as a buzzer, okay, uh, an email notification, or alarm output if you have one set up. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and click save. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go to live view mode again, and verify I can see the analytics in mainstream. Okay, so now you see the detection boxes around the uh, the object itself. So now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate this in action. So as you can see, she's slowly approaching the detection area. There's a green box around her in the object itself, and momentarily she's going to remove that object from the area. Okay, and so you can see that green box just turned red, so that means it detected the object is missing, okay? Next, we're gonna show you how to do the playback to search for it. So you're gonna go to the playback menu at the top here. Under the drop down menu, you're gonna select event. And then the second sub menu, you're gonna select VCA. And then right below that, you're gonna select object removed. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the camera that I used, which is D3 in this example, okay? Then after that, just make sure your uh, start date and time is the same that you're looking for. Hit search, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cl click on the playback time period that I did earlier, and then I'm gonna go hit play. 
Now you can see that there's a clip of her removing the object from the detection area. And that's how you do it on the web browser. And now I'm gonna show you how to set up the abandoned object analytics on the Uniview system itself through the NVR interface. So the first thing I'm gonna verify is make sure I can see the live camera view, okay? Then once you do that, I'm gonna go in the main menu, okay? And then under the system, right here where it says intelligent mark, you wanna make sure that's enabled. If you don't do that, you're not gonna be able to see the analytics on the live view. So make sure that's checked, and then you're gonna click apply. Next, you're gonna to go to VCA where you're gonna set up the actual rules itself, okay? So of course, you're gonna make sure the camera is correct, and then I'm gonna scroll down and then make sure I select the object left behind, which is the abandoned object, of course. And then make sure it's set to the camera side analysis. You're then gonna click on the little gear icon here, okay? So then we're gonna start at the top where it says trigger actions. And then of course, one of the first things that you wanna verify is under the recording, make sure the right camera is selected, which it is by default, okay? And then you see here, there's other options such as buzzer, which is the internal NVR buzzer if you want it to sound when it gets notification, or you can have like a pop-up window message pop show up, okay? So those are all optional. Then you're gonna click okay, and then you're gonna go to the arming schedule here, and again, make sure that on the camera, select all the days that you want the recording, and then click okay, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select a, uh, or draw a detection area, okay? I only need to draw one for this example. And then I'm gonna draw it right next to the, uh, this little uh, blue box here, okay? And then keep in mind that if you do mess up, it's okay. You can always redraw the area, okay? So I'm gonna draw this as best as I can. And that's gonna be the detection area where we're gonna have our example object, okay? Okay, so once you're done clicking, then you'll see the number right next to the rule, so it indicates that's complete, okay? Next, what I'm gonna do is, uh, here you'll see a sensitivity uh, slide bar, so uh, of course the higher the sensitivity, the more it's gonna pick up an object. Here you also have an option of a time threshold in terms of seconds, so that means the higher it is, that means the object has to be placed there longer uh, in order to get it picked up. Uh, in this example, I'm gonna prefer to keep it at the lowest, so that way it won't take too much time to get detected, okay? Once I'm done there, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Okay, then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the storage menu, and then again, I'm gonna select the, uh, the correct camera, so I'm gonna change the recording in the snapshot schedule to make it under event, okay? So of course, uh, under recording schedule, make sure the enable schedule is enabled, and then you're gonna go ahead and click edit here, as usual, and then again, select event, and then select all the days that you want, click okay, and then you see the color has changed to event recording schedule. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply, okay? And I'm done there. Then I'm gonna go to the snapshot schedule and do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the correct camera. Again, make sure the enable schedule is enabled. And then of course, as you already see here, it's already enabled, but just again, just to make sure it's under event, select all the days, and then click okay, and then click apply, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the live menu here, live view here, I'm sorry, and then you're gonna see the uh, analytics rule set up here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate this in action, okay? So as you can see, she's slowly delivering a dolly with a package on it, and she's gonna enter into the detection region and leave it there. So now you see the green boxes starting to detect the object, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there for a few seconds. Okay, good. Now you can see on the live view, the uh, alarm notification just popped up. So that means it picked it up, so that's good. So I'm gonna click exit to get it out of the system or get it out of the live view. And then I'm gonna go into the playback menu. And then right here, I'm gonna to go to the smart. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and of course select the correct camera, which is test or number three in this example. Then I'm gonna click video retrieval. After that, uh, under the type, make sure you select VCA, and then of course, then check the correct camera, and then under the subtype, I'm gonna select object left behind, okay? Then I'm gonna hit search, okay? And then I'm gonna scroll down, and then I'm gonna select the latest clip, and double click, and as you can see, she got picked up along with the object, which counted under the object uh, abandoned analytics, and now I'm gonna show you how to set up the missing object detection analytics. 
So again, I'm gonna make sure I can see the camera view and then I'm gonna have the uh, object of interest in place of where I wanna detect it, okay? So as you can see here, the object from the previous video is in the same place, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the main menu and then I'm gonna go to the system and again, where the intelligent mark is, you wanna make sure that's checked because again, if you don't, then the live analytics will not show. So make sure that's checked and then you're gonna go ahead and click apply, okay? After that, you're gonna go into the VCA and this time we're gonna select object removed, okay? So check the object removed box, then go ahead and collect the little gear icon and you can see the live view again. Under the trigger actions, again, you have different options. Again, one of the more important things is make sure under the recording, the correct channel is uh, enabled, okay? Other options such as buzzer, send email notification, or pop-up window are optional. I personally like to keep the pop-up window checked because that way when it's detecting something, you get a notification on your screen, okay? Once that's done, go ahead and click OK. All right, now I'm gonna go to the arming schedule. And again, make sure all the days that you want are checked. Then you click apply and then click OK. Then I'm gonna draw a rule, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a square or rectangle similar to what I had before around the same area. But this time I'm drawing it with the object already inside, okay? As opposed to without it inside the first time. Then close that. And again, keep in mind that if you don't like the area that you're drawing, you can always delete it and then redraw again, okay? Now, uh, again, you have the sensitivity options here. So just reminding people that the higher the sensitivity, the easier it's gonna pick up an object or pick up a missing object. Then the time threshold here, uh, again, works the same way. So the, uh, the more seconds that you uh, have it set, that means it takes that many seconds to detect whether an object is missing or abandoned, okay? So in this example, I'm gonna leave it at the minimum. Once I'm done there, I'm gonna click apply. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to storage and then just again verify the recording and the snapshot schedule are set under event. So again, right here, uh, you're gonna make sure the enable schedule is always checked. Okay, and then you're gonna go to edit and then again, make sure that it's set to event and then copy to all the days that you want. Click okay, now you see the color has changed to event schedule, okay? Then I'm gonna click apply. Then again, I'm gonna do the same exact thing for snapshot, okay? Make sure it's set to the right camera. Make sure again it's enabled. And again, you see the color here is already under event, but again, showing you how to do it. Go to edit, make sure it's set to event, and then copy to all the days. Click OK, and then you have that done there. Then click apply. Then what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and click on the live view to verify the analytics box is still there that I've drawn. So now we're gonna demonstrate this in action. As you can see here, she's going into the detection area and then slowly removing the object. And then we'll just wait for a few seconds here. And as you can see here on the live screen, a pop-up notification just showed, indicating that the object has been removed, obviously. So we're gonna click exit. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into playback. And then we're gonna click on smart, select the correct camera, and then make sure the date is correct on the calendar. And then we're gonna click on video retrieval. Next, under the type, make sure it's selected as VCA. And then under the subtype, we're gonna select object removed this time, okay? And then we're gonna select test, which is a third camera. Click search. And then again, click on the latest time clip. And as you can see here momentarily, she's coming out the door and she's gonna remove the object. And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the abandoned and missing object analytics on the Uniview system on the web browser and on the NVR. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified for future videos. Thanks for watching.